If you look at this bottom here, you can see we've put masking tape across. We've done that because very occasionally, when you put a full top on an empty bottom, and this is the empty bottom, the whole, the whole hive just slumps and falls in the bottom, and that's disastrous. This actually gives it a bit of support and stops that from happening. Now you will also notice that we sealed the, the exit hole. There's no point doing the split and having all the bees evacuating from the hive. You actually want to take away the hive with as many bees as you can in it. One thing about uh, this top is, this is a hive that died. So the, we like to recycle the boxes because the boxes cost me about $60 each. So with this uh, hive, the bees have already resined it up. So in fact, although it looks like Dr. Disgusto had a party here, the reality is that this is filled with resin that the bees that are going to inhabit this hive aren't going to have to worry about. The work's already done. It's like buying a house that's already painted. How good is that? In colours that you want. The reason this hive died is because of small hive beetle. Small hive beetle is an ubiquitous pest from South Africa. When you do a split, native bees are susceptible. Now the reason they're susceptible is, if you look at this, this bottom hive, the bees haven't set up any resin defences. Now I'm going to show you later exactly how we get around this problem, but occasionally the small hive beetle can pass the defences that aren't properly built yet and they lay eggs and they create maggots. Now these maggots, they burrow through all the, uh, the honey cells and they actually make all the honey go rancid. It's a disgusting smell and the bees actually leave the hive and just abandon ship. Okay, well, I'm going to don the protective clobber again, because I tell you what, there's nothing worse than 50 bees becoming your new friend. Splitting a hive is very easy, and you're going to see how easy it is, and if you haven't done it, it's embarrassingly easy. So I've seen people have a hive and never split it because they're afraid. Don't be afraid. Like, anyone can do it. I, I did my first split knowing nothing, and it succeeded. Now I've done hundreds. It's straightforward, you'll see how straightforward it is. This is something that you really should have a go at if you have your own native beehive. What we're going to do now is separate this hive. This is a, this is a 30 second job. And normally the egg mass pulls away. Oops, knife please. Okay. So, if you, look at, if you look at this, you can see the egg mass. Egg mass is absolutely critical, and you can see the queen cells. Look at those bigger eggs there. They're queen cells, so lots and lots of queen cells. This is one that I think we're going to put another strip across the middle, because this is going to fall otherwise. So I don't want this egg mass to fall on the bottom. So the bees are just going to have to work this out. Okay, now we're going to seal this. And this is to stop any insect pests having a go. And now we're going to go around it because very occasionally this gets dropped. So now I can actually remove this. This is going to be the hive that goes to another location. 